Waiting for online training. This is our little ninja program. Let's get started. Stand tall. One bow. Feet apart. Hands behind your back. Let's go through our three positions. Position number one. Standing like I am now. Feet apart. Hands behind your back. Position number two. On one knee. Hands on the front knee. Posture tall. Position number three. Sitting on the floor. Feet across. Back is straight. Hands are on the knees. Did you do those three positions? Fantastic. Let's get to the start. Feet together. One bow. Great job. Clap their hands. Shake their hands. Shake them high. Shake them low. Shake them out wide. Now round your elbows. Nice big circles. Go the other way. We want to try and do five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Hands on your hips. We're going to get our shoulders. We're going to try and touch our ears. We're going to try and do it five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's go backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Cut those hands. Put that left hand in the air. Give it a wiggle. We're going to go five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go backwards. Let's show mum and dad. One, two, three, four, five. Cut those hands. This is our right hand. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Both in the air. Shake them out. Shake them low. Shake them out. Hands on their hips. Let's give them a wiggle. We're going to try and touch the walls. The bigger the circle, the better the circle. We're up to three. Four, five. Back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember this position? Hands on your knees. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. Don't forget the feet. Wiggle. One, two, three, four, five, shake it out, other foot, one, two, three, four, five, give the whole body a shake, now we're nice and loose, let's start our warm up and our stretching, go get a drink. Welcome back. I hope you got a drink. Let's start with stretching. Bow back in on three, two, one. Hands out, feet are out. One hand across the body, one hand underneath the arm and stretch those muscles. We're gonna stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna stretch those arms. My hand goes across my body and underneath. I stretch those muscles. Mum and dad, make sure that this hand is up high, getting a good stretch. Five, Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to put one hand in the air. We're going to put it behind our head. We're going to reach our other hand over and grab our elbow. And we're going to pull. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do the same with the other arm. Behind my head. Grab my elbow and pull it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Check that out. We're going to do the hugs, we're going to hug our body, we're going to stretch our arms, and we're going to do it again, we're going to do this five times, one, two, three, give yourself a big hug, four, five, put those feet out, show me that rocket ship, take a big breath, and touch those toes, we're going to go to the right, we're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one, to the top, we're going to go the other way, we're going to go five, Four, three, two, one. To the top. We're going to do a quick count. We're going to count all these toes. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sensei Mitch has got ten toes. How many do you have? 
Wow. Wiggle those feet. Let's go into the splits. Clap your hands. We're gonna put them on the floor. We're gonna wiggle them out some more. And we're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one. I want you to walk it back. Don't fall. I want you to sit on your bottom, have your legs out straight. We're gonna go for the right foot. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna walk our hands down and we're gonna hold on to those toes. Again for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Shake that leg. Clap those hands. Walk those hands down those legs. Grab the other set of toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring them together like a race car. Point your toes left and right. Bring your soles together. Make your butterfly. Wiggle your legs. All right. Push them forward. Hold on to your legs. Get your knees to touch the ground. And we're gonna push, push it down. And then we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna do this one one more time. We're gonna push it down. Try and get your knee to touch the floor if you can. Get it there, get it there. Relax. Push them forward a little bit more. Touch your nose, touch your toes. They have to connect and they have to stay for five seconds. Big breath. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it out. Grab your legs. We're gonna do egg rolls, we're gonna do three egg rolls. I'm gonna roll to my shoulders and I'm gonna come back to my knees. I'm not gonna break my egg roll. I'm gonna keep it nice and firm. Make sure I have a strong core. One, two, and on three we stand. Three, I reach forward, I stand. Feet apart, position number one. We're all stretched. Let's get a drink. back, stand tall, one bow, we've loosened our body, we've stretched the muscles, now we have to warm and strengthen them, we're going to start with our start -ups. we're going to do 10, we're going to do three variations, we're going to start with the basic one first, I'm going to do my basic star jump, hands up, feet out, and jump back together, and we're going to do this 10 times, you guys can help me count, the louder you count, the better we do, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Freeze. Don't move. Did you do it? Awesome. Shake it out. That was activity one of three different star jumps. Activity number two is a little bit different. I'm going to start like this. My hands will come up, but my feet will go forward and back. Just like so. I jump and I change. My hands went down, my feet changed position. Watch one more time. Hands go up, feet change position. Hands go down, feet change position. Are you ready? Help me count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Freeze. Don't move. Well done, shake it out. That was one and two. Our third one is our last one. It's a little bit different. We're not gonna use our hands. We're gonna close them and hold our guard. Our feet will start apart, they will cross, and they'll come back apart. I go across, look at my feet. I go apart, look at my feet. My hands still remain the same. There's no up, there's no down. Just hands in the middle. Let's count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Freeze. Don't move. Don't move. Well done, give yourself a clap. All right, show me them muscles. Are they big 
Are they strong? Let's work on some strength training. We're gonna do our push-ups, so let's get down on the ground. When we do our push-ups, we want good habits. We wanna be on our hands and our feet. We wanna go all the way down and all the way up. We wanna show mom and dad just how strong we are. And if they're strong too, they can join in next to you. All right, hands on the floor, up on my feet. Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five. Are you tired? Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Sit back on the knees. Show me how big those muscles are. If mum and dad did it with you, give them a high five. Good job. On your bum. We know these ones because we've seen them in class together. They're our sit-ups. We want our feet to stay on the floor, so stomp them in. Make sure they're stuck. Get those hands ready just like we did before. We're gonna lay down, sit up, show mum and dad your best punches. If mum and dad is there with you, they can sit in front and they can high five your punches with you. One, left and right. Two, left and right. Three, left and right. Four, left and right. Five, left and right. Six, left and right. Seven, left and right. Eight, left and right. Nine, left and right. Last one. 10, left and right. Position number three. Let's do a sweat test. Are you sweaty? If so, you're doing a good job. If not, you and mum and dad only another set of push-ups and sit-ups. Everybody stand. Feet apart, hands behind your back. Stand tall, one bow. Go get a drink. Welcome back. Feet together. One bow. Position number one. What we're about to do now is our turning kick. This is the next technique on our Little Ninja curriculum. If you know this technique already, follow along. If not, you can do it step by step with Sensei Mitch. Let's start by doing a stance. We're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna have our hands up ready to kick. We're gonna work on our balance. So we're gonna lift our leg and balance on one leg. We're gonna turn our body, we're gonna point our toes and we're gonna put it down. That's our goal. Watch for another angle. I bend my knees, my guard goes up. I lift and turn my foot, I point my toes and I balance. If you don't have the balance, that's okay. We have a couple of things that we can use at home. Grab mum or dad's chair. You can use this to support you when you try and do your kick. Stand on a spot, hold on with one hand, other hand will be up on your guard. I'm gonna lift my leg. We can hold this position for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I can pull my leg in, ready to kick. One, two, three, four, five. And I can point my toes and kick. One, two, three, four, five. Pull it in, put it down. And we can do that kick 10 times. I can change legs. Same deal. Feet together. Use the chair for balance. Guard up is a good habit. Hold the leg. One, two, three, four, five. Chamber the leg to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Kick and point the toes. One, two, three, four, five. And that's how we do the turning kick. Once I have that, I can remove the chair. I can find a bit of space. Get my stance in my guard, and I can work on doing it by myself with nobody's help. 
changing legs, left and right. Getting as close as you can to perfection. If you're lucky and you have a kick shield. You're welcome to use it. All the same methods apply. Bend your knees. Have a good guard. Chamber and turn your foot. And kick the shield. Left leg once. Right leg once. If I can get to 10 kicks without falling over, I've done a good job. Whatever your strongest leg is, practice that one at least 10 times. Whatever your weaker leg is, practice it twice as much. Well done. Class finished.